Okay, that was how things back in the day aren't the same as how they are now. Life in the 1800s is not the same as now. Things changed because society evolved, not on like a human biological level, but more on a mental technological level and like life type of stuff you feel me so my in this day and age um things are not the same as how they were back then if you want to do something in this day and age doing it back then probably was going to be harder most likely and vandaag i must speak about like Success, yeah, well, because success is quite relative because it's not the type of thing whereby this is success or that is success because it's it depends on a person what success is because what someone else views success as success is not what somebody else will view as success. So, my but I might be speaking about a certain a specific type of success that. Me as a person, I view it as success. So when I get to that certain stage, I can be like, Jobs, you're successful. So this is going to be speaking on my view. You feel me? And so I'm going to be speaking about my view on success. And this view that I have, I'm not the only person with this type of view. I know there's a lot of people with this type of view. There's a lot of successful people who are successful in my definition of success who have made it essentially if that's what i can say feel? so yeah i'm gonna be speaking about that so my i was how back in the day 18 1900s if you wanted to be successful you feel you probably had to probably come up with something new and innovative you feel or you probably had to go the systematic route and get good grades go to college university get degrees honors doctorates all of that stuff and that's basically how you could get success su- successful back in the day or in this case how you could get wealthy you feel and that kind of that was the same thing for like 1800s 1900s was 1900s it was, it was basically the same but now in this day and age it's not really like that anymore in this day and age it's more like it's more like if you can come up, it's more like school isn't the only way to become successful. And with that being said, I'll say again, that will de- that will also kind of determine what your view of success is. If let's say you want to become a doctor or an astronaut or something, you most likely have to go the the route of having like really good grades and making sure you get your honors and all that. But you got to remember, not everyone's like that. I'm not like that. Me, I don't envision myself working in an office job. That's not what I want. Honestly speaking, I don't want to work for no one. I want to be my own person. Because I'm, because you know how for the past two months or so, I've been posting these motivational pictures and all that. And I remember one, I think it was like two, three weeks ago, I posted this one where it said, I don't work to be rich. I work to be free. Something like that. And that's what I ultimately want. Because I'm a free spirited person, honestly speaking tell you the truth i don't really like taking orders from people a lot of times i like doing stuff based off of my own decision i don't wanna i don't like always having to i don't always like having my fate or my decisions determined by other people or other people's um other people's um what's this word i forgot the word Uh, whatever like i don't want other people's like i don't want how much a person is involved to have a huge effect on the decision or on my fate you know so my that's why i don't really want to really work for no one i want to be able to wake up i want to be able to wake up on a thursday and be like i want to be in cuba and then within three days or so i'm in cuba i want that you see i want to be free i don't have to be like oh man i want to i want to go on a holiday or whatever and then a, the, my boss basically kind of decides when that is you feel me so yeah that's what i'm saying
So as as what I, as, with, with what I was saying is, in this day and age, there are a lot of successful people who don't have formal schooling. You know, they don't have all. Oh, they don't have like degrees upon degrees. They don't have bachelors, all that stuff. They don't. Some of them don't even have like grade twelve certificates. You know, and they're still successful in their relative field as to what they regard as success. <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And so my, um, I, I would classify myself in that field because with me, what I would view as success and what, and yeah, what I would view as success, I don't 100% need all of that to be successful in my relative field of success or my definition of success. Others might have to, others won't. You feel because back in the day in the 1900s 1800s you kind of had to go to school and get good grades and like bachelors and all those degrees and stuff to become successful in this day and age you don't really need that you kind of just have to be smart about it not on an academic level but on a life level on a on a very society based level you have to be smart you feel me so what i'm saying is like Yo, this is like what six minutes now I right, so whatever so what i was saying is like like with school because i'm not trying to bash school or anything that's not what i'm trying to do i'm just telling you my opinion it's like this as i said in this day and age there are a lot of people who are successful wealthy all that type of stuff and they don't really have formal schooling or you feel me and and in this day and age you have to accept that's kind of how things are if you don't go to school or whatever, it doesn't mean you're gonna be a failure in life. You know, it, that doesn't mean that. It just means that's not your route. You feel me? That's not your thing. Cause school is not for everyone. Some people, cause like a lot of people who get bad grades, they're not dumb. You probably get that they didn't put in much effort because to them it doesn't it doesn't grasp them. Cause a lot of things. <laughs> that certain people are interested in school doesn't offer that type of stuff so you'd get that their school the school they're in or the school in their country or whatever they don't really offer that type of stuff and so to them there's not really much for them in school yeah well so they end up doing their own thing and they end up probably getting really good at it and so me what i'm trying to say is like it's like this a lot of people it's like okay with school just because because like, cause like, basically everyone does school just so it's like this just because a lot of people do something doesn't mean something is for a lot of people you feel me if 500 people do the same thing every year doesn't mean all those 500 people it doesn't mean that that thing is meant for them you'd get that out of those 500 there's at least 50 or 100 who who, if they didn't even do that, they could, they, they still could have done better in life, you feel? Yeah, so that's what I was basically trying to say. Because if you look at a lot of, like, people who are successful, depending on if you have the same view as success as me or as those people, you'd be like, okay, they're successful. They did this, 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 and this, and they're successful. Like, you look at probably people who do sports. A lot of them, they didn't really do much formal stuff in school. Some of them just played soccer. Well, let me not say even say soccer. Let me actually call it football because that's the name. A lot of them just played football until they got really good. They got noticed by a coach. And then they got accepted accepted into, acad- into an academy. And then, just, they, then they just got really good at it, you know. And then they prospered. They became, they have, like, they live a great life and all that in sports because you don't really need to know your abcs or to know romeo and juliet or to know the chemical balancing whatnot to become good at sports you feel me same thing with maybe let's say youtubers they don't really need to be good at school to do what they do or let's say opening a business because i remember watching this one video about dan penner i think it was dan penner this other billionaire right he said that to open a business, you don't need a business degree, but you need a business degree to work for a business. You feel me? 
So my when you're busy, you're you're gonna be working to get a business degree to probably get employed when without that business degree you still could have opened up a business and made life much better for yourself so i'll say again i'm not trying to bash school or anything or say that it's it, it's stupid i'm not saying that i'm just telling you that in this day and age specifically school isn't everything like how it used to be i'm some hey getting an education is still important but the thing is you must remember education is not only based off of school or academics if I teach you maths, I'm educating you. If I teach you how to fix plumbing, I'm educating you. If I, if I tell you how to fix a car, if I teach you how to fix a car, I'm educating you. If I teach you about science, I'm educating you. Education is not just the learning stuff in school. It's, a, it's basically essentially learning stuff in general, you feel me? So my education is important, as they say, and it is important. And so that doesn't mean it's only school education that's important education in everything is quite important because you got to know your shit you feel me 11 minutes yo this is a vent and a half but yeah that's what i that's what i uh, like been wanting to say because with me i'm the type of person like if i have a certain goal or vision because i mean i have a goal or vision because i'm actually taking my stuff serious right now like i'm taking it real serious like, because as you see from the posts from the past two months or so, I'm basically posting that stuff to motivate myself and to try and motivate others at the same time. Because in life, you're going to get to a point where you're going to have to prioritize things. And maybe the order in which you prioritize those things, it won't be the ideal order for everyone. Not everyone's going to agree with your order of of prioritization but it's your order because it's your stuff it's supposed to be important to you right so i mean in a way i kind of have i kind of have priorities right now because i'll tell you guys the honest truth i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do after grade 12 i don't know if i'm gonna go to uni or not and even if i go i don't know what i'm gonna be going for because me i'm the type of person tell you the honest truth i don't like wasting time I'm not going to lie and say I don't waste time because sometimes I do waste time on stupid stuff and whatnot. But me, ultimately, I'm the type of person, if I do something, either that thing must be a good investment of my time or it must benefit me in the future. Because if it's not, if it's not, if it's none of those things, if it's not a good investment of my time or if it's not going to benefit me, I don't want to do it. So I imagine me going to uni to get a business degree when i could still open a business without a business degree i'm not saying that's stupid because when you go there to uni you're going to learn a lot of stuff you're going to learn more about business which could help you get better when you open a business but it's not like you have to do it i mean you can still do it without you feel me and i'm not saying that like a lot of because like a lot of people like mark zuckerberg bill gates they basically dropped out and they look how big they are I'm not saying that's going to work for you. That's one thing. You shouldn't do something because it worked for someone else. You could try it, but you just don't expect the same results. Because if they did it and they made and they got successful as it, at it doesn't mean you will as well, you feel. So my me, what I'm trying to say is like. specifically referring to my views of success you don't just need school to do it you just need to do it because i'm the type of person whereby as i said i'm quite serious right now and with me to do certain things i don't really need support from people if you support me or you don't support me it's cool i'm not gonna hate you for it I'm not going to be mad at you for it. Support me, don't support me, it's fine. Because one thing I've realized sometimes, relying a lot of, on people's support and motivation from others, it's not a very good thing. You should be quite independent and be able to motivate and support yourself, which is still, which is quite hard, but it's something that you're going to have to kind of learn. Because if you're constantly dependent on whether or not people are motivating you, it's a problem. So, Mina, what I'm saying is, so like with my situation, being supported or not and when i'm doing something it doesn't phase me whether or not you support me or not <laughs> it's more of specifically pertaining to the people who don't support me if you don't support me it's cool but don't hold me back okay don't hold me back 
don't support me that's cool i'm not gonna get mad at you but then don't hinder my success don't hinder my progress don't try and hold me back let me go out there and let me at least try because i hate giving up i would much rather try something and just suck at it and like just be bad than rather just give up i'd rather try and try and try even if i'm failing even if i'm doing badly at least i'm trying instead of just giving up because it's so hard or whatever but i won't lie and say i don't give up on certain things because i give up on something when i see that i'm putting so much time into it and it's and i'm not making progress so it's not gonna benefit me that's when i'll give up on something because the amount of time i invested into this i could have put it elsewhere and i could have made huge gains there so that's my view on things so yeah yes i am dead done 16 whole minutes probably have way more to say but yeah kind of running short on, on 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 words so yeah hope y'all have a great day gang gang do you loves